Storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. We're seeing some rain and some snow moving across portions of the area, including in Topeka right now. It is reducing visibilities just a little bit, but the good news is, is that our air temperatures are above freezing in Topeka. So even though we're seeing this falling from the sky, a lot of it is not sticking. So just watch out that there could be a couple slushy or slick spots on the roadways here and there across the area today, especially through the next couple of hours. Uh, just give yourselves plenty of time to get to where you need to go just to be on the safe side today. We're really not seeing too many issues though. 35 degrees out the door in Topeka, but feeling like 27. We've got that wind out of the west at 12 miles per hour, and we're continuing to see these stronger winds through this morning. So our current wind speeds are anywhere between about 10 and 20 miles per hour, even as high as almost 25 miles per hour in some cases with some stronger wind gusts here and there too. So that is making it feel colder. Wind chills are in the teens and 20s all across the area. Winds are going to stay fairly strong throughout the morning hours at least, and then we'll slowly see those backing off through the afternoon and evening and eventually they'll become light heading into the night tonight, but they're still going to be out of the north and west even into the daytime tomorrow too. Now temperatures are in the upper 20s to low 30s. Still a few mid 30s hanging on like in Topeka and Lawrence, 33 in Hiawatha. And we are watching those temperatures closely in our northeastern counties because that's where we're seeing that snow and rain mix right now. If our temperatures fall a little bit more, we may start to see that sticking on the roadways just a little bit more. We do have temperatures in the upper 20s to the north and west, though, and we're going to not really go very far today in terms of temperatures. So we're looking at maybe highs in the mid to upper 30s, maybe close to 40 degrees if we're lucky in our southern counties today. And with the winds, it's likely going to feel like we're in the teens and 20s all day long. Tonight, we'll drop back into the 20s area wide, and then by the time we get to the end of the week, we'll have temperatures climbing up to near 40 in many cases, maybe over that in the mid 40s to the south, probably still stuck in the mid to upper 30s in our northern counties for Friday. Now, there's a look at our satellite and radar as we've had some of this light snow rotating through this morning. So still seeing that uh, right now, that little burst of that moderate snowfall coming into the capital city here this morning. That's going to continue to pull off to the east today. And we may still see some few, uh, few flurries in our northwestern counties as that other batch of snow comes in uh, from the north and west. But as the system continues to exit, so will our snow chances today. This is our next system already taking shape in the Pacific Northwest. That's going to come our direction by the time we get to Saturday. So future track here. We will clear the skies out for the most part this afternoon, becoming mostly sunny. Could have some low cloud cover, maybe even some fog try to work its way in Friday morning north and northwest, maybe north of I-70 through about lunchtime. Then we'll eventually end up with some more sunshine late in the day before cloud cover increases again ahead of that next system. So snow chances start to increase through the morning on Saturday, potentially even seeing some of these snow showers lingering into Saturday afternoon and evening as well. We are expecting uh, a few chances to see um, some more snow too, even after this one, but this is what we're thinking for the most part here. Best chance for some minor snowfall totals, maybe around a couple inches or so north of I-70, but we could still see some snowfall accumulation south of I-72. Of course, we're going to fine tune the details as the day today progresses and even in tomorrow as well. But just know that we could see some snow sticking around as it falls throughout the daytime on Saturday. Temperatures will be in the 30s then, but we're going to stay relatively uh, average for this time of the year as our numbers will be in the upper 30s to low 40s. Our next chance for snow arrives late Monday and into early Tuesday. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break.